All right. Had to take a breather there. Okay, there was a reason why I was late. All right. And I'm not going to make this any more dramatic than possible, but I want to make sure I'm very fucking careful here. Because this is not a subject that I wanted to turn into a topic on stream. But recently, Nick got a really weird fucking email. And I got a really weird fucking email too. And despite the fact that I've really not taken much shit from any of this stuff, um, it really bothered me. And I felt like I just needed to, to talk about it. Because to be quite honest with you, I'm absolutely disgusted. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, this is a tweet here from Keemstar. Um, so, ugh, this would be difficult to talk about, alright? Because I really, this is uncomfortable. Okay, so basically background information. Apollo Legend um, killed himself last week. And I never knew the guy. I wasn't personally affected by it, um, but Tipster knew the guy, and Keemstar knew the guy, and Tipster and Keemstar knew the guy so well that in his suicide note, he had thanked them both for being good friends. So I found out about this while I was streaming, Nick Diorio was streaming, uh, and Tipster was streaming. We were all streaming at the same time that evening. And then I'm in the call with Nick. Nick's obviously in the call with me. Tipster's off solo streaming by himself. So Tipster shuts off his stream and puts out a tweet. Saying that Apollo Legend had passed away. Now Apollo Legend was a speedrunning commentator. Um, who talked about uh, speedrunning drama. He did videos on Billy Mitchell. Uh, and, and other you know speedrunning commentators or whatever. The names are, are losing me right now. Um, but he, he was basically like a commentary channel, but not a traditional one. He covered speedrunning drama. And he ended up getting sued by Billy Mitchell. He lost the lawsuit. And about a year ago, I believe, he quit YouTube. Or something along those lines. Anyway, I didn't know the guy, alright? So I don't want it to, I don't want to like be fake here and pretend like I was like deeply affected. Obviously, you know, I thought about it for a while. You know? Because it's like, you watch a guy on YouTube. And then you go back to rewatch those videos. And you're realizing you're watching a video of somebody that's not there anymore. And it just, it trips you. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I wasn't, you know. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be as clear as possible here. I wasn't, like, you know, destroyed by it. It was just something I thought about. But that night, when T Tipster tweeted, uh, and immediately ended his stream that he, Apollo Legend had passed away. Um... He ended up making a correction that Apollo Legend was actually... We hadn't gotten full confirmation that he'd passed away. Tipster just saw the suicide note and assumed that he'd already done it. And I think that is an, uh, that is an extremely reasonable conclusion to come to. Now, should Tipster have tweeted that out without verifying it? Obviously not. You know, you could say that Tipster fucked up by saying he died and assuming that he had died when... He could have been still alive at that moment in time. With that being said, uh, I don't consider what Tipster did to be a fuck up. Tipster considers what he did to be a massive fuck up. Tipster beat himself up over the head. The only person, besides Tipster, who thought he really made a massive mistake was Keemstar. And he tweeted something like, full heartedly, well, not something, I have the tweet right here in front of me. Fullheartedly, from the bottom of my heart, fuck Tipster for spreading bullshit rumors. It's not too late. There's literally no confirmation on that whatsoever. Somebody needs to get a hold of him now. Now, initially, this is a very loaded tweet, but it comes off like it makes sense, right? Because, remember, Keemstar was also included in the suicide note and was listed as a very good friend of his. So this is obviously, Tipster reacted emotionally by jumping to conclusions, and Keemstar's reacting emotionally by also jumping to conclusions that Tipster was just clout motivated by this. He just wanted to get the story out first, all right? So initially, our responses were very, you know, we were kind of telling Keem, like, you can see right here. 
So my friend Nick hits him up. He says, look, I can't get in touch with Tipster, but can you give him a break for like five minutes? He's close to Apollo and might know shit we don't. He really can't take this right now. Because Keemstar was sending Tipster like a huge wave of, hey, keep in mind the scenario here. Tipster's friend just passed away. All right. Keemstar tweets out, fuck Tipster from the bottom of his heart. You know, implying that Tipster had done this maliciously. And I'm sitting there's I see that tweet immediately and I'm just like Tipster's not gonna be able to take this right now. Somebody needs to tell Keem to lay off. Cause Tipster's gonna lose it. That was my thought process at the time. Tipster can't handle this right now. I understand Keem's reaction, but I also understand Tipster's. And this is, does not need to be tweeted right now. So Keem replies, he's a complete fucking clown for saying that. That's why he deleted the tweet. You can fuck off as well. So he's still mad. And at that point, we're still amicable with Keem. So I said Keemstar is a friend of Apollo, and they were close enough for Apollo to thank Keem in his video today. I hold no grudge to Keemstar. I'm just putting it on the record out there that I didn't put any false info out there since he name dropped me. We'll get into that in just a second here. But even Nick was saying stuff like anyone who starts spamming my replies anti-Keem shit or anti tipster shit uh, is getting instant block. A YouTuber named Apollo Legend put up a suicide video and he needs to be found. Loads of people are emotional and having wild reactions. It's understandable. Nick even said, hi everyone, reading the tweet, stop giving Keemstar shit. Everyone is acting really emotional right now, it's understandable, not engaging and looking to start a war right now. Put that energy into finding Apollo. Well, after so amicably handling that situation, being understanding that, look, what Keemstar's saying right now, it's not good. But, Keemstar's friend still died too. Alright? Then he sends this. I don't want to hear the excuses. Apollo puts out a suicide letter and your brain doesn't think I should probably try to get a hold of, of Apollo. I should try to get a hold of his friends. I should call the police. Your brain doesn't go there. You know what you do? You start making community posts. Apollo is dead. Rest in peace. Because you want to break the story. Because you want clout. Because you want fucking attention. Tipster wanted so much attention that he found out the news while he was live and ended and deleted the fucking stream. That's how much clout he wanted. Do you know why Keemstar thinks this guy wants clout? Because Tipster made a tweet. And Tipster made a community post. Ladies and gentlemen, how much clout do you think Tipster is getting from a fucking tweet? Or community post? Who is subbing to Tipster because they saw a tweet? That doesn't make any sense! You had absolutely no fucking confirmation whatsoever. And then I'm on Twitter when I find out and I'm just trying to like get a hold of everyone, anyone, and anyone to, 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 to get a hold of him to try to save his life or whatever, right? to try to get in contact with him, and I'm getting spammed with, it's too late, Tipster already reported he's dead, it's too late, it's too late, and everyone- What does that have to- like, how does that impede you trying to find Apollo Legend? By the way, he's gonna say that we did nothing, dude? We were in calls with people talking to the fucking police. I heard the deputies say that he was dead from my own ears. After this video, of course, but still. And before the video, before this video came out, Spectre on Twitter was already contacting the authorities. And at the time, he was the only person delivering information out. You can even see Nick's tweet saying, focus on finding this guy. Dude, as soon as the story broke, you ran to make this a clout issue on Tipster. You used a dead guy to go at Tipster. And we can excuse it at the time because it's an emotional reaction. His friend just fucking died. But spoiler alert, do you think Tipster got an apology? The only person that got an apology out of any of my friends was Bo Blacks. Nick reached out to him privately. And Keem ignored him. I didn't get reached out at all. I was blocked. Nick and Bo Blacks aren't blocked, but I got blocked. There was an attempt made to settle this privately. After the fact, Keem and Nick got into a fight last night over this. Everything that Keem's saying right now, he still believes. 
Dude, put this into perspective, all right? Who were the top people defending Keemstar against H3H3? Who used dead people twice that I can remember to attack people? He did it to the quartering, but he also did it to Keemstar. Remember? Keemstar killed Etika? To this day, I would never say that Keemstar killed Etika. I think that asserting a death of somebody and using their suicide to have a go at somebody is disgusting. Oh, I know it gets worse. I'll keep playing. But I have to say this right now. All right? Understand where we came from. And I'm not surprised about any of this, by the way. I've always known Keem's unstable. But we were the people who were calling out H3 for using dead people for his YouTube drama. What the fuck is this? What is this video? It gets worse. Everyone's spamming, it's too late. Well, what if it is too late now? What if those crucial moments where you're breaking a story that he passed away, th there was an opportunity in there to somehow get a hold of him? Fuck you! Wow, Keem. That is an incredible argument. What if while you were making this video right now, he was still alive? And he gave you one last phone call and you didn't see it because you were filming this Twitter video right now. And that was the last fuck he gave. Alright, we can play what if games all we want. What if unicorns came out of my asshole right now? We can, we can say that, it's cute to say that, but it doesn't mean anything. It's a vapid argument. It, it's void. It's just, it's nothing. What if he, uh, saw your tweet? We don't know that. That's impossible. You can't just say, you can't just base your entire hatred off of somebody based off what if this happened? You don't know that. Tips are one a clout from the story? Maybe you'd have an argument if he ran to make a YouTube video about it. But did he do that? No! He shut off his YouTube live stream. He was live when this broke. He got off the air. This would be a whole other conversation if Tipster immediately ran to record a video. Hey, what's up, guys? We just got news of Paul. That would be an entirely different scenario. But that's simply not how it happened. There is no logical justification you can use uh, to comfortably go to the conclusion that Tipster was a grifter in this situation. Fuck, our, our haters were agreeing with us. People that don't care for us or outright hate us were saying on Twitter, Tipster wasn't caught motivated by this at all. This was this guy's friend who just died. How, what sane person, what sane person uh, thinks... I'm going to use this opportunity to take a giant shit on them on my 3 million follower Twitter account. This guy who just lost his friend. Yeah, let me just add to that just real quickly for no fucking reason. It's disgusting. It is downright hypocritical to the max. And it's exactly what H3 did to him. We're talking about the Etika guy saying that, I mean, he's basically saying tips or killed this guy. Is that not an illogical conclusion? What is he saying in this video? What if, what if he could have been there, but you let him down? He's literally saying that Tipster killed this guy. What sane person? I don't care if this is your emotional reaction. At that point, it's gone completely past the pale of uh, rationality. And he still believes this. Remember, I didn't want to do this on stream. But I also don't want to be the guy that killed somebody. He names me in this video right here. Fuck you. Fuck you in your stupid fucking face. Fuck you. You wanted to break this story. Congrats. You broke a story that was incorrect. Go fuck yourself. Literally from the bottom of my heart. Fuck Nicholas Diorio for defending you. Fuck Bo Blacks. Fuck Augie. Augie also put out the false information. None of you did. We'll get into what false information I supposedly put out. 
anything. None of you even tried to figure out what was going on. You all just started saying, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. That is just lo that is just factually and document. It's untrue. I can't even speak right now. Anybody who was on Twitter that night just knows for a fact that uh, that's untrue. He's dead, he's dead. Go fuck yourselves, every last one of you. This isn't YouTube drama anymore, alright? This is some little petty beef with Keemstar. I mean, what he's saying is literally sick. This isn't just, oh, Keem made a video goofing on us and I'm getting goofing on him. But no, this is, it's, on the one hand, it's personal. But on the other hand, I'm in a situation where I have to correct the record. I mean, he's saying dangerous shit about me, dude. Like, I can't let this slide. So, then he jumps into my Twitter replies after I quote tweet him. And remember what I said initially. At the time, I held no grudge because I knew this was an emotional reaction. It still is an emotional reaction. Except it's one that he still stands by, which is kind of a problem. But even at the time, I said, I'm, I hold no grudge. Keem Mustar was a friend of Apollo. They were close enough for Apollo to thank Keem in his video today. And to this day, I still believe that Keem genuinely grieved. For Apollo. I don't think Keemstar was being fake when he said that he was grieving for his friend. But I also don't think that justifies any of the sick shit that he said here. So then he comes out. I, I clarified immediately. I never put out misinformation. So then he screenshots this tweet right here. Uh, where I said I ended my stream. Um... Because I didn't want to keep streaming after I just learned about the news of Apollo's death. Do you want to know what screenshot he took that from? He took that from me. This is the full screenshot that he cropped. Immediately! I corrected it. Correction! He's not dead. I didn't say this and then five hours later... Five days later, five weeks later, then I corrected it. It was within minutes. So now you got a guy saying all this sick shit about me. And then he comes into my replies, cropping my own screenshot. Now, thankfully, nobody bought it. Immediately, people were like, you cropped him. You cropped this. So I told him, and I showed him the uncropped image that I knew he saw because he took it from me in the first place. And he said it didn't matter that I corrected it. I still said it initially. So I guess by that logic, it doesn't matter that you corrected the Tony story. You still think he's a pedophile. I, I mean, I don't know. What is this logic? What is this logic? I hear from my friends, from a personal friend that I know knows the guy who just died saying that he died. What am I supposed to, what am I supposed to take from that? And if you really think I fucked up that badly, how badly could I have fucked up to where I corrected it immediately? If you really think, if you really think that I did something evil by simply saying what was told to me in a fucking tweet, well, at least I corrected it a few minutes later. Please try to say with a straight face you didn't put out any false info. Fucking moron. Yeah, tr you know what? Come at me when you, you when you show the full screenshot. I don't want to hear shit from a guy who... You can literally see the line where it shows the other tweet. It's like he didn't even try. So then he blocks me. And then he blocks Boblax. He goes after Boblax. He named Boblax in that Twitter video. He says, you guys all started spreading false bullshit with no uh, confirmation whatsoever. These were very crucial moments that were needed to try to contact him and family. Keep in mind, we didn't know if Apollo was alive or not at this moment. You're talking about crucial moments. Why are you on Twitter? Why are you recording Twitter videos? 
If you think one tweet, if you think the 10 seconds it took to make that one tweet is responsible for his death, what about the two minutes or longer you spent recording that shit video on us? Why is this drama? Why was this the conversation that night? Why was this what we were talking about? You can even see it again. A YouTuber, Nick even said it, put out a suicide video and needs to be found. That should be the focus, not this. So he says, are you fucking serious? You guys are defending Tipster? Bro, stop the bullshit right now. Boblex says, where did I defend Tipster? And then he gets blocked. Kimstar makes a false allegation about me and then blocks me on Twitter when I ask for proof. Ironic too, considering I just DM'd another YouTuber to fix misinformation against Keemstar in his video. Shame that the respect isn't mutual. Now, in fairness, the next morning, Keemstar apologized to Boblax. Boblax is the only one of the group that got an apology. I have to be fair and state that for the record. But still. If any I don't want an apology. I don't believe in apologies. Tipster is the one you should be apologizing to. Obviously, I'm mad at Keem for the misinformation about me, but he deleted the tweet, so I hold no ill will against him. Since Apollo is his friend, he is understandably emotional like the rest of us. Let this be water under the bridge so we can focus on Apollo's safe return. So then he says this. Well, actually, first, what does he say? Oh my, no. I forgot about this. So after he railed on Tipster for jumping the gun, for tweeting something he had no confirmation of. He then tweets this later on that night at one in the morning. I'm still waiting for official sources, but some outlets claim they got confirmation that Apollo Legend was found deceased in his home. This was the suicide video slash letter he put out. Any type of suicide video is against YouTube TOS, so it was removed. Apollo was a YouTube friend. So right after he rails against Tipster, for tweeting something he has no confirmation of, he does the same thing. It's, it's beyond parody at this point. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. So then he says, over the last 12 months, other YouTubers made exposed videos on him trying to label him as a horrible guy. I agree that all YouTubers deserve criticism, including Apollo, but he was a good guy. One of the claims they made against Apollo was that he scammed his fans when he raised money for a lawsuit. That was false. Apollo refunded all the donations. So he talks about the videos being made against Apollo. But then when somebody brings up, hey, fuck Billy Mitchell, too. If we're going to say fuck the videos, fuck Billy Mitchell. You know, the guy who sued him. You know, it's one thing to make a critical video of somebody, you know? Making a video shitting on them. It's a whole other thing to sue the guy. And put him in financial ruin. So then. Kimster runs defense for Billy Mitchell. And I'm not saying Billy Mitchell is responsible by the way. But you must admit. That. YouTube videos. Hold much lesser weight. Than a fucking lawsuit. I can tell you for a fact, Billy Mitchell was one of the many people behind the scenes trying to whatever they could to get in contact with them before it was too late. Make of that what you will. An email was sent to Nick DiOrio, as well as me, that made me speechless when I read it. I'll read it for you right now. This was addressed to Nicholas, but when I read this, it left me speechless. I've been a long-time viewer, but rarely communicate with you. However, seeing what happened over the past week, I felt compelled to share my thoughts with you. I followed the whole Apollo Legend situation and saw your actions, and I have to say that I am extremely disappointed with how you conducted yourself. Firstly, you said in an August stream that Apollo died before there was any confirmation that Apollo had died. Your first instinct was not to call the police. Your first instinct was to talk about this on stream and get your wisecrack in. I know you're young. I'm considerably young. I'm considerably older than you in my 50s. I can't tell you how unbelievably mature inconsiderate and absolutely tone-deaf your actions are. I'm surprised no one has called you out for that. 
I'm surprised the commentary community hasn't made videos covering your mismanagement of the situation. It was in that moment that I realized you were not an honest person. You lack empathy and a lot of it. Keep in mind that like Tipster, like myself, Nick, who was live at the time, stopped the stream and deleted it. This is speechless, but it goes on. I saw Keemstar's video and I agree with it 100%. This line right here is exactly why I felt compelled to talk about this on stream today. I'm sad he took it down because it was the truest thing that came out that night. The fact you didn't think of Apollo's life and trying to save him and then defended Tipster with who did the exact same thing you did is just disgusting. You're young, so you're probably just not feeling it right now, but you will think of this moment for the rest of your life. You could have had, you could have helped to save the man's life, but you chose yourself and your wise mouth over another human being's life and nothing will ever clear you that, that from your conscience. Whether it hits you now, in a week, in a year, or in a decade, you will feel it one day when you're sitting at the bar with your friends and drinking a cold beer. You will be enjoying yourself at first, but then it will creep into your mind out of nowhere, and you will never again be able to rid your mind of the unbearable weight of not taking action quickly enough to save another man's life. You have contributed to the loss of a life. You are in part responsible for it, and no matter how you justify it, you will have to live with it. I lost a very close friend years ago. I did everything I could to save my friend, but no matter how much I threw money on the situation and helped him pay for his cancer treatments, he unfortunately died, and every single day of my life I think, did I do enough? You never tried. You never did anything. You just talked about it as though it was something passing, and unless you're a sociopath with absolutely no remorse, empathy, or feelings, I cannot see how anyone in your position could go the rest of your lives without a cloud of regret hanging over their heads. You lost a subscriber that day. I had been with you since around the time you hit 5,000 subscribers, and I can no longer follow you. Honestly, I'm just scared of being around when you finally realize the gravity of what you've done, and snap, it's not going to be pretty. I know you're the type of guy who tries to hide behind jokes, but you're as fragile as a marshmallow, and trust me, everyone can see it. Your insecurities are evident for everyone to watch. You can laugh it all off, but everyone sees it, and the day you, be you come to terms with the fact you contributed to a man's death, it will all come crashing down, and, will no and you will no longer laugh. Please don't donate for this section. And matter of fact, stop all donations tonight. I am disappointed in you, and I know many others who are as well, and have been quietly talking about it for fear of how aggressive you are on social media. Trust me, and people noticed, many are unhappy. Now, I'm not saying this is Keemstar at all, because I see someone saying that in chat right now. And as a matter of fact, if I had to guess, this email is probably completely bullshit. I don't believe this 50-year-old person exists. I don't believe this is a real person writing this. This is probably a concern troll. But I do know that the exact opinions echoed in this email are real opinions people came off with on that night. And it makes me fucking sick. I would never blame suicide on anyone, specifically. Because that's not how it fucking works. Suicide is an infinitely complex topic that we've done almost no research on. You cannot say in good faith, just without any other- Keemstar killed Etika. Dark Viper killed Apollo Legend. You can't even say Billy Mitchell, even though Billy Mitchell sued the guy. You can't even say it's his fault. I got an email as well. And this one isn't as hyperbolic, but it's worth taking note of. I'm not sure whether or not you're getting these messages, but I'm sending you this, uh, anyway. I feel like you jumped the gun on the Carson thing, and trust me, this will relate back in just a second. You got a lot of stuff wrong in your video, you didn't even know his age. One of his victims just came out and basically just disproved everything you said in your video. Which, all of that's untrue by the way, but that's beside the point. I'm scared for you. After the whole Apollo Legend thing, and how Diorio ruined your reputation, you can't afford backlash for your coverage right now. Like, as a, as a fan, I understand that you make mistakes, but a lot of people aren't so kind. I'm in this Discord group, and a lot of people are really unhappy with the video you did on Carson. They said you're a victim shaming, and they really don't like 
that you made the video in Carson and talked about the Apollo Legend thing so much. I mean, I understand everything you said, and I think you really had to say it, but so many people don't see it that way. They were saying they think it sounds really defensive, like you know your friends really mess up and you're trying really hard to defend them. I don't know. Maybe be careful with this one. Your reputation is already kind of shaky because you haven't publicly disavowed Diorio or Tipster. You don't want to let Diorio or Tipster stain on your reputation, make it so people don't trust a word you say, but I'm a fan and will continue to support you. So I understand most people don't. First of all, one thing should be abundantly clear. This person is not real. This is not a fan writing to me. This is not somebody who's a real person. Again, concern troll. But these echo the real opinions people come off from that fucking disgusting video. And if that re is a, re really is a real person, then I wish nothing but horrible things to you. And I would advise you to unsubscribe and just never tune in again. I debated doing this topic on stream or even just as a video in general. But it's something I've been thinking about a lot. I've been thinking about, you know, the guy who killed himself. Again, I wasn't personally affected by his loss. I didn't know the person. He was just somebody that I watched on YouTube every now and again. All right? So I don't want to make it out like I'm like this. I was his best friend and now I'm dead. Look, all right? All death is tragic. But you're going to react to the death of your friends much differently than the death of somebody you just watch on YouTube. That being said, I still thought about it a lot. And the taste that was left in my mouth that night from what Keemstar was saying and just lev uh, leveling at Tipster. I mean, let alone myself, but Tipster. It was unbelievable. And I say that, you know, I say that it was unbelievable, but, you know, I'm not necessarily surprised. All right, we know Keemstar is unstable. We know Keemstar is a hypocrite. And when I used to put Keemstar on my show a lot, I knew he was loose cannon. But I didn't think he would really take it this far. And that's not to say that he wasn't genuinely grieving that night. I believe that he was. I still believe that personally. Whatever emotional reaction you get out of something like this, it doesn't justify what you said about us that night. And I feel it's absolutely necessary to address. Don't ask if I'm good. I'm fine. All right. God has blessed me with such a strong mental health, all right? I'm not saying, when I say I've been thinking about this, I'm not saying I've been depressed by this, all right? But it has been something that I've been thinking about a lot. And I got that email yesterday, and then I saw him jump the gun with the cards and thing, and I just, I, I, it pushed me. So, that, that's my statement, I guess. So, you know, not to end the show on a bad note, more ending the show on a serious note, but one that I felt was important to address, and one that I hope that I addressed in the most appropriate way possible. Have a good night, everyone, and take care.